Serious concerns at a Fort Pierce animal shelter, a meeting scheduled before last week's tragedy at the Humane Society of St. Lucie County. A volunteer died last Thursday after being bitten by a dog. Tonight's focus, ongoing staffing and cleanliness concerns. WPTV News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts has the help in town to get the shelter on the clear path forward. Michael Kelly, right now, a nationally recognized animal welfare group is in town here in Fort Pierce. They're going to be here for a few days to review all of the operations of the Humane Society of St. Lucie County. Tonight, their visit included sitting down with a group of about a half a dozen local animal rescue groups to get their take on the fix. This is providing us with some hope. This meeting was a long time coming. I'm so, so happy about this. I think them coming in today is the best thing that ever happened. Six local animal rescue groups and other humane societies sitting at the table, giving their thoughts on what needs to change at the Humane Society of St. Lucie County. There are dogs that sit in those kennels for weeks without getting walked. I'm sure they have some wonderful animals that people don't even know about. No volunteer retention. Staffing, budget, cleanliness concerns have put the shelter under a microscope by Fort Pierce, Port St. Lucie, and St. Lucie County. But Best Friends Animal Society is leading the conversation to turn things around. They understand that they're at a crossroads. Carrie Dakota asked to come in town to talk to the Humane Society, the cities and county, and this group, and put together a remedy plan. The main goal is helping the shelter get back on track to save more animals. It's, it's difficult to have a high functioning shelter that saves a lot of animals if the people are unhappy, if it's unclean, if there's no money. So we really have to look at the whole picture. The animal advocates here promising to help the shelter make needed improvements. We want the same thing that they want and, and being respectful to each other and, and joining forces. There are animals, so we all need to take responsibility for that and, and I want to see it work. Also, note the Humane Society of St. Lucie County actually recently changed its name to Second Chance Animal Shelters, they say in an effort to sound less like a government agency. These recommendations in the report, they're supposed to be uh, completed by the next month. Reporting live, I'm Megan McRoberts, uh, WPTV News Channel 5.